One of the biggest gatherings of stomping boots in southern Ontario happens once a month in Acton. The local legion opens up its doors and up to 400 of the faithful pour in and can get a drink poured, making this a unique opportunity for those who spend their week at line dancing lessons where water is the only drink available. And it's something teacher Mario Carrito says helps those many boots start bumping. It's a tool. <laughs> if there's a bar, again, some people like to unwind. They just have like one or two drinks and get to dancing, having fun. I like to say sometimes it's the one to three rule. If you have one, you're fine. If you have three, you can't follow along. Carrito holds regular lessons on Tuesdays down the road at Hall 1 in the Milton Fairgrounds. Jackie Pink is one of the Urban Cowboys regulars. Though her favorite night is Tuesdays, she travels when the cowboy has other events. I like those events. I find that there's a bunch of communities coming together in one place. Um, I find that we don't know all the dances, but it's fun to try and learn them. Uh, I still prefer my little community in Milton because we all get along and we do our Tuesday night thing and it just makes me happy. So. Mark Van Tonder has been taking lessons since January. He says strolling with his pups led him and his wife to Carrito's open doors and to the gatherings in Acton. We walk our dogs in this area and we used to see uh, Mario training people on a Tuesday, so it's just something for us to do. The kids are getting older now, so well, we've only been to the, uh, the Acton Legion at the end of every month. We've been there twice now. That was uh, The first one was jammed. That was close to 400 people. That was, uh, it was busy, but it was fun. And the second one was a little bit less people. But it was still it's just as much fun, yeah. Carrito actually learned to line dance from working at the old Nashville North Bar in Georgetown, where he used to be a bouncer. And he says he's finally accomplished his goal of finding a good space to bring so many lovers of line dancing together. So where I first learned, it was a big bar in Georgetown, and it had a big dance floor and a large capacity. So there, a lot of the line dance community would come there on the Saturday night. And since that bar closed down, seven or eight years ago. No one's really had that spot to dance. So the past couple years I've been really working on a, getting a big enough dance floor that everyone can join in. The capacity is about 400 people and we always have everyone dance and having fun. So I start lessons in the beginning, seven to nine, and then nine to 12 is all request line dancing. A lot of times there's different dances to the same song. So the dance floor will split. So you'll see a different dance doing to the same song. And it brings the whole community together. I see a lot of, I say the four corners of the line dancing community all over Ontario, people come two, three hours away drive just to come there. I look at them and I'm like, really? And they're like, yeah, we had a blast. It was working. We'll see you next month. And This month's gathering at the Acton Legion is being held May 24th. Tickets are first come, first served. So if you want to grab a drink and let your line dancing skills loose, aim for earlier than 7 p.m. arrival or face a possible wait. In Acton, I'm Dee Glazebrook for Halton News.